briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a 1981 case heard by the Colorado Supreme Court, Low V District Court in and for the County of Arapahoe, the court examined whether a juvenile should be granted bail or detained. The case centered around Low, a child charged with second-degree burglary. During his detention hearing, it was discovered that he had a history of missed court appearances and was facing probation revocation proceedings in other counties. Lowe argued that he had a constitutional and statutory right to bail, but the court concluded that a child does not have an absolute right to bail in juvenile court. Instead, the court found that his previous actions and pending cases justified his detention without bond. However, the court held that bail for juveniles could be appropriate in some cases and should be considered as an alternative to detention. The court ultimately ruled that while a judge can decide whether or not a juvenile should be granted bail, detention should only be used if it is necessary to protect the child or community from immediate harm. Release conditions in the child's best interests were considered even if monetary bail was granted. This decision resolved conflicting provisions in Section 192103, and the rule was discharged. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.